Today, we're gonna be doing baked bronzino, baked in salt. Let's give it a try. A shot of Henny, that's a plenty for the chef, yeah. The Jack Daniels, you can feel it in your chest, yeah. In the kitchen, got the mixer, got the spuds. Then I whip them while I'm sipping, cause it's sicker with a buzz, yeah. Ooh, we making bomb ass food. Just one shot won't do. Not tonight, cause if I'm not hungover, then you know it isn't right, yeah. Alrighty, so now we're gonna be doing a salt baked bronzino. This is a special that we do at my restaurant all the time. It's a really nice way to uh, cook the fish. It kind of steams it in its own like liquid. So we're gonna start with a metric F ton of salt. We're going to crack two egg whites into here. You want just the whites, not the yolks. We're gonna do the one method I showed you before. Just put it in your hand, let it go through your fingers. No need to do the stupid eggshell thing that people love to do because I always think that it's easier to break the yolk that way. This method is way more gentle, easier on the egg. Again, let it just go through your fingers. Don't worry about the little bit of shell that fell on. Take that, throw it. And now we're just going to kind of mix the salt and egg mixture. It's going to turn into a more uh, easier to work with kind of thing. It just adds a little bit of structure. Don't add more than two eggs to this, because if you do, you're pretty much going to make a quick dry cement and you're never going to get the fish out. Trust me, I know I learned from that mistake. So this is looking pretty good. Just going to get it all incorporated. That's good enough. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. Next what we're going to do is we're going to add some aromatics into our fish, because again, this is pretty much like steaming it. We have garlic, fully, still with the, uh, still has a thing, what's it called? The, the, the skin. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna peel it. We're just gonna palm strike it, and we're just gonna shove it right into the fish cavity. So we're gonna do eh, two or three in each one. Now the fish we're working with today, Bronzino, uh, in Italy, if you're going to the north, it's called Bronzino, in the south, it's called Spigola. And I'm from the south, and I always knew it as Spigola until I moved to America, and then people started calling it Bronzino. And I was very confused, but it's all the same fish. It's a nice fish, it's white, flaky, it's very popular right now in restaurants just because it's cheap for them to buy and they can sell it at a higher price. And it's tasty. So we're just cracking the garlic in there. There we go. Next what we're going to do is we're going to add just some kind of sprigs of parsley in there. Again, all aromatics. Just a little bit, like so. Wrap it up into a ball. Just shove it right in there. We're gonna do that another three times. Put it right in. Right in there. I was gonna add sage to it, but I kind of don't want to. I kind of like where it's going right now. Sage can be overpowering, so we're just gonna skip the sage. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to Coat our fish with our salt mixture here. Get it all in there. Now, normally with fish, you would scale them. I wouldn't scale the fish this time. I know that's kind of weird. Never really heard a chef say that before, but if you're gonna scale the fish, when you cook this in the salt, when you take the salt off of it, you're gonna rip all the skin off and you're gonna be salting your fish way too much and it's not gonna taste good. So we're just gonna sprinkle this all in there. It looks like it's a lot, but trust me, it's going to solidify. It's not going to look like this. Pack it on. Make sure all of it is covered. It's okay if it gets on the counter. So now what the French would do in their restaurants is they'll do little designs on the, on the salt. If you wanted to, we could try it. Why not? There we go. Okay, now that that's all covered, again, wash my hands, get the salt off. Whatever. So we can do little designs. You draw right in there. 
It's not really working, but that's okay. I'm not an artist. Doesn't matter. We're gonna skip that. <laughs> Once you have it all packed in, we're gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees. We're gonna check on it after the first 20 minutes. And there it goes. Check on it soon. Alrighty, so now while the fish is cooking, we're gonna prepare a nice oil for the fish. Uh, we top this on all of our seafood at the restaurant. So we're gonna take parsley and ball it up like I showed you in the Thanksgiving video. It makes slicing and stuff super easy. And you just chop away. I'm using the wrong knife for this, but that's okay, mine's in the sink. I don't feel like cleaning it. So I'm just gonna destroy my knuckles. Okay. Now we got our parsley, a little bit in there. We're gonna take some more garlic. Maybe two cloves will do. Slap it, you grab it from the base, peel comes right off. Easy as one, two, three. Bah. We're gonna take this and just kinda chop it. Now this is definitely an instance of cooking. You should always have a sharp knife, but you should definitely, if you're chopping anything small like garlic, because if you have a dull knife, you might as well just cut your finger off now. Trust me, I've cut with dull knives. I've cut my finger with a dull knife. It is not fun. That's one of those things that in life really, really make my blood boil, is when I accidentally slice myself with a knife, because it's no one's fault but your own, and you deserve it. Pay attention, respect your knives, respect your kitchen. You're gonna be fine. You won't end up with six stitches for no reason at all. Now we got that going, we're gonna add some red pepper flakes just for a little spice. And we're gonna use extra virgin olive oil. Just the top there. Remember, extra virgin olive oil is for salads. Regular virgin or regular olive oil is for cooking. You don't ever want to use your extra virgin olive oil for salads because it's got a strong olive oil taste. We talked about this in the Beef Wellington video. You should check that out. We go more into depth about oils, but we're going to keep it pretty simple here. Our oil is ready. We're going to season with a little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh black pepper, maybe two turns. Pop, pop, that's good enough. And we're going to re emulsify. Ooh, you know what? We're gonna finish this off before I forget. A little lemon juice. A little acidity. Everybody loves lemon on fish. And we're gonna wait for the fish to cook. We're gonna just drizzle that right on there. Okay, let's check on this guy. It's been about 20 minutes or so. Okay. As you can see, the salt has darkened, which is quite nice. It's what you want to see. I think it's just about there. So we're gonna show you how we take this off and how I'm gonna fillet it. Now we do this table side at my restaurant. Now oh, it's good. So we're just gonna pluck the salt off here. It should come off in one piece. There we go. Beautiful. You can just smell it, it smells fantastic. Okay, try to get them up with one piece. Alrighty. So now that we're here, we're gonna fillet this guy kind of nicely. Fork and a knife. You know you cooked it right when the head comes off one shot. And it's extremely satisfying to me. Tail comes off. I'm gonna flip it over here so you can get a better look. So what I do is I like to take off this little dorsal fin here. 
Should come out nice and smooth, just like that. I love it. And I'll take the tooth of the fork and I'll embed it into the skin here. And I'll just kind of break that loose. And then the skin flap here should just come right up on its own. There we go. Look at that. So then I'm gonna pick her up like a little baby. Flip it over, get rid of the skin here, take out this back spine, lovely, put that back on the plate. We're going to follow the line of the filet, we're going to flip it over, there we go. Same thing here, flip it over, lovely. Now the aromatics and everything, we can just get rid of that, we don't need that no more, it's done its job. We're going to take the spine off. It's coming off right on its own, very tender, lovely. And then what we have here now is the rib cage of the fish. You can see the bones poke, poking up. What I'll do is I'll take the tooth of the fork again and then just kind of ease it off like so. There we go. Awesome. Beautiful. Nice fish. I never understood why people um, who catch a whole fish will just cut the fillets off and cook it that way. When you cook a fish like this, or just even bait pull without the salt, you can really control your portions better. You don't lose any more of the meat that's in between the spinal cord. You can just get all of it in one shot here. And that's about it. Like she's filleted. The other half of the fish here does not have any bones because it's one solid piece and it's it's good. I'll serve this with some sauteed spinach, maybe some broccoli even. And then we'll top it with our bronzino oil here. A little bit of that. It's nice infused garlicky uh, oil. And that's it. I want to thank uh, Steam Smiles in the comment section of our first video for suggesting this. We'll post this comment up here. I want to thank everyone for checking this one out. Give it a try yourself. It's definitely a dish that you can make look super fancy when you're serving it and it seems like it's super hard. But we use like what, five ingredients? The fish, the salt, the garlic, the parsley, and the oil. It's five ingredient dish. 20 minutes, 425 degrees, you're good to go. Thanks for stopping by. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button and have a beer on me. Thank you very much.